What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install iOS 11 Beta 1 on your iPhone 5S all the way up to iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's pretty simple but just as a little advice, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise you to do it right away. I would wait a little bit, maybe till tomorrow because it's kind of, there's a lot of people doing it right now and it's kind of buggy but if you want to go ahead and do it and I also wouldn't say, I would say do not install this on your main device because there could be a lot of bugs. I would at least wait until beta 2, then I could install it on my main device, which who knows. I, I, I will install it on my main device, but I'm advising you just in case you get um, jammed up and bricked or whatever. And also, guys, hook up your phone to iTunes and do a backup. Do a complete backup of all your information just in case you run into any problems. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You don't need a computer. You don't need a UDID registration or none of that. No developer's account. This is all free and I'm going to show you guys how to do it right from your phone. So you're going to go to Safari. The link will be in the description. Make sure to open it in Safari. And when you open it, this is what you're going to get. So you're going to see this right here. The following all right here. So iOS 11 Watch OS 4, Mac OS, all that stuff. You could download TV right from here. So you're just going to tap on whichever one. And we want, we want iOS 11. So we're going to tap, download iOS 11. It's going to say Apple Watch, iPhone. Tap iPhone. You're going to get this prompt right here. You want to hit install. You want to put in your passcode. That's the passcode of your phone. This is no special passcode. This is the passcode that you use on your device. And this is what you get right here. You could read through all this, but we're not going to read that. We're just going to hit install. Install again. And you want to restart now. And this is going to reboot your whole phone. And when it reboots, it should be able to go to settings and iOS 11 will be there. And just for the record, I am disappointed in iOS 11. It, there's the only thing new basically is the control center and the app store it's just it's just the same old iOS with I'm very disappointed only thing I'm really only thing that really shocked me about WWDC was all, all the hardware like that iMac Pro that thing is just gorgeous so let's open it up so we're back to our regular screen we're gonna go to settings general then we're gonna to go to software update and boom iOS 11 right there you could download and install but I won't install it right now but you could definitely go ahead and do it just tap download and after you download it install it and you should be fine but I would advise you not to do it yet but I'm just showing you guys how to get it free right away if you guys want to do it and this is beta 1 right here so so yeah and back to what I was saying I'm totally disappointed in this thing, this iOS 11 right here. Control Center looks cool. I mean, that's cool. That's the only thing really, really changed. I wanted new icons, new everything, a lot of new stuff, new widgets, all kinds of stuff. Maybe jailbreaking just have me setting my setting my goals too high. Not really goals, but my goals for iOS too high. And Apple just keeps disappointing me, but there's a lot of new stuff, like a lot of better performances, better camera stuff, a lot of stuff like that. But nothing really to wow me, except for the control center and all that new hardware. That new iPad Pro, that's cool. The iMac Pro, beast. I mean, I would definitely buy that if I had that money to throw around. But you know me, I, I don't got that kind of bread. But it is what it is. It's definitely a beast. And yeah, there you go, guys. iOS 11 Beta 1. Install at your own risk. It's Prince with ATP 101. Peace. Thanks for watching.